three, two, one. Well, back with more dread play. We're finally ahead where I had to keep repeating myself over and over and over. And so we're in familiar yet uncharted territory because I will admit from this point on I don't I remember some of the key details but I don't remember some of the key air some of the, all the little finer things. I remember the big surprise that had me going fuck no at the coming later on coming up later on in the game and stuff like that. So hopefully my scares and reactions will be a little more better this time. Take a look around first. And I'm also gonna, the last couple episodes did go a little longer than I expected, so I plan to time these episodes to our normal 15-ish minutes per episode. Alright, ooh, we got a note. March 15th, 1899. Curled into my bunk, all sick and sweat ridden. They clean my room about me. I can only hear the voice from within that gentleness of stones. It seems to me and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in rotten ribcage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it what whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving. I remember when we pulled into the Southampton and we both wept for it was every bit as much as desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London and I sat upon the mantelpiece and went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the Rodinian rounds on Dindum Drons. So, I don't know, but whoever wrote that one, which from all the other journals I suspect is me, because, well, it's amnesia. Daniel caused all the atrocities, so I imagine I just murdered all my servants, and down we go. Ooh, journal. And when they first said daddy, my heart was molten. As if blood frozen upon the ground where to held the sun to thaw and slop. And they were inseparable, always together, one soul and two bodies. My love was all consuming. I would die for you. I whispered to their sleeping faces, I would kill. What set this world to ruin to protect you? I have fought through the dark tunnels, great engines, and the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood. I come for you now. My darling boys. Ugh. I'll admit, getting back into this now, with what little I know, is gonna get my heart racing again. Order, no, unauthorized personnel to enter this facility. I guess we're going this way. And where do we go? And you came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls. I rode. No, I first time play through. I remember him saying stuff here. Now that it started, but I don't remember it being exactly that letter. I'm not sure if we found that letter the first time. I don't think we did. For your children, madness, to spare them the world you have created for us all. Mm, that's promising. 
Oh, man, that goes pretty deep. Uh, damn, we're already far down. But I love how these weird levels are. Instead of just pushing it down, it's diagonal down. And, well, let's pick it up down. Down we go. Oh. That's always reassuring when music kicks in like that. I actually can't do that that well. <laughs> Okay, I don't remember what my reaction was the first time playing the game the very first time in this section, but... I th think that was a little... God. Dear Christ, what is this place? This is drugs. I think this is a little over the top. I think so. I mean, us descending down that. Not even that far! For. at uh, fanfare. Uh, I, I do remember this section. I Whoa. tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn. All to save them. That's reassuring. I'm going to have to mute my mic because I'm going to have to cough. Alright, I'm back. Well, let's see. I'm going to just double check some stuff out here. Well, pretty much the only place for us to go is this room. Got lots of lights. There's spinny things, valves, levers, lots of doohadikis. Well, let's... Can't push that lever. Ah. Well, I can't do anything yet with that. So I guess... We go back. Oh, that's right! I remember what we need to do. We have to do something with the machine first. And the uh, rod control room. Ooh! It's everyone's favorite time. Story time! Click. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition? Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Very, very unhappy is he. Okay, let's stand back up. Anything else I can grab? Rod controls. Let's see. Flip switch. Oh, let's drop down. <laughs> I do remember what. This is. I'm not gonna drop that. I'm gonna go ladder. Play it safe, kitties. Whoa. Hey. Does anyone figure out what this is? Huh? Anyone? It's. Ah, wrong buttons. I keep <laughs> kept hitting up. Now, in case you guys haven't figured out what that is, we got a fucking nuclear reactor. So that journal a while back about removing heat and keeping one area super cool and another area 
nice and warm. It's a fucking nuclear reactor. All right. Uh, flip. Okay, you can't move to more than one at a time. That's kind of stupid. And number eight. And number eight. There we go. Ding! Fires are done. Ding! Fires are done. Redirection is all ready. What's up? Make sure you close the door. Don't want any of those radiations to come out. Journal! Now I find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. I did. I stride for the path these cut locks. I'm coming, my darlings. I'm, I'm almost save you. La 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 la. I'm so happy. I'm going to see my kitties. Do 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 do. I'm so happy. I'm going. Uh, 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 uh. What do I do? 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 Okay, I see green. I see green. Let's push it. Okay. Daddy, daddy. Mommy, mommy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry if you're getting some breathing there. And I guess we now. Set them free. Set them all free. <laughs> what great thrust I do. Uh-oh. That's reassuring. Whee! I live. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. Yeah. My time is come. More pig. More pig. Brother? Brother? Oh, hey, look, it's our children. Boys, I'm sorry. Why? Why are you sorry? I'm so sorry. Uh, whoa! Um, that's a little bloody. Hey, what are you two doing? Uh, uh, Daddy doesn't want your hearts. We did something bad, I think. Very bad. Mandus the saboteur. You can't come in. No, you can't come in. You must sleep in the yard, bad piggy, dirty pig, stinking, filthy animal. You bad child, you stinking child, you filth. We did something bad. Daddy. And emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Awesome. And, uh, I remember this. A perma stuff cut like this. I hate games that do that. But to be honest, I am kind of nervous. Now, I will say this. I know we're getting close to my time. If we have a major encounter here, I'm going to work my way through that encounter before the end of this episode. Or I might run back here and hide it in the episode that way. <laughs> I'll leave you hating until it happens. Whoa, whoa! Um, go away, kitties. 
Oh, buggy, 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 buggy. Yeah, no. 29th of December, 1899. Can a man construct himself anew? Can man, unrealizing who he is, on what he has become, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this? Tiny cogwheels and clockwork, an intricate machine to serve the function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by that which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotage this body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn in a new motion, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart, as I reach my hands to expose the wires, I ask myself, Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? If not, surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Pick it, pick it, pick it. Well, we figured out everything so far, so... We were the saboteur the entire time! <laughs> Journal! Read first. Read. I can't read. Have to get off the ladder. Apparently he's not smart enough to read. Pressure regulation. So it's done. The saboteur was me. And the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember! All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces. The innards of humanity fell from the orifice and turned agape into my open bifurcated heart. Uh, well, I that's this episode. That's 15 minutes. No major encounters right here. I thought it might be a little bit sooner, but that's this episode. Thank you for watching. I'm Nova Kitbox. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash dreadplague. Keep out yourself on the latest news and everything we're doing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Get in! Get in, <laughs> motherfucker! I, I thought Nova was tired of living. <laughs> Oh!